before we begin today's video, I want to have a serious talk about something. You know what I really don't understand is people who humble brag. There's so many people out there online and we're about to look at some examples of people who are just trying to come across as humble but they're silently talking like they're better than everyone else. And I'm just not like that. There's so many people out there who just silently talk themselves up and don't realize that all they're doing is just talking about how good they are but they're trying to hide it in this roundabout way. And I'm just not like that. I just don't sympathize with those people whatsoever. I never do that. I never talk about how good I am at something or how I don't do things that other people do that are bad, but try to talk about it in a humble way. I'm just not like that. And I wish everyone else was just like me. <laughs> No more, it's your boy joining. And welcome back to another video, another Tuesday, unless you haven't been here before, in which case, my name is Joinin and I'm the world's most humble person, and I will never brag about that. Today we're looking at some humble brag posts. This post was posted on the Fortnite mobile subreddit. Is anyone else a god? on mobile, it's actually funny. I'm so good on mobile to the point that I prefer it over PC and PS4. I play on my iPad and actually get high graphics and FPS because it's on a brand new pro. I'm also even able to get an average of seven to eight kills on the crossplay servers against PC and console, may I add? And my friends say I'm better on mobile than on keyboard and mouse. I have 112 wins on mobile. It's not much, I know. I get about nine to 17 kills per winning games on mobile, solos, duos, and squads. Am I alone? Yes, you are the single best mobile Fortnite player in the world, probably. No, but seriously, there's probably science to this, right? I think on mobile, it has like a pretty intense auto aim system. Am I wrong? As I was exiting the plane this afternoon, the flight attendant pulled me aside to thank me for, in her words, being so warm and friendly and just a beautiful person. Because I put an elderly lady's bag in the overhead bin and patiently chatted with my seatmate for the entire flight. And let's be honest, Auntie Mame was hung and wanted to doze. Brought a tear to my eye. Has it come to this? Though basic decency and politeness are so unusual that they warrant special thanks. This West Jet flight attendant was lovely, but apparently as a society, we mostly suck. Sigh. According to what you've just said, what you really mean is, but apparently as a society, you all suck. I'm the good one. Nah, I mean, I understand. This one is on the fence. You can certainly take it as a humble brag, but it's not majorly bad. My cheat day consisted of a cauliflower pizza. Lol, I hate myself. Someone teach me to be unhealthy. Woo, that is the good stuff. This is the humble brag cringe that we are searching for. It must be so hard for you to be so healthy if only you knew how to eat normal person pizza. Floyd Mayweather says, I'm so proud of my son for doing something that I didn't do. So far so good. And that's graduate high school. Nice. When I was his age, I dropped out of school and followed my dream of boxing to take my family out of poverty. <laughs> And what did you do, son? You just got the world handed to you on a platter. Look at you, wearing your hat because you sat through a couple of classes. I took a family out of poverty through beating people's faces in. But I'm so proud of you. That moment where a song you wrote yourself puts you in tears. Yeesh. I just think for the most part, taking a photo of yourself when you're crying is already kind of a bit weird. And then to post it online, maybe the situation of you crying is fit for social media. But if you do want to post it, wait until after you've finished crying and then see if you still want to post it because you probably won't. Because everyone's, everyone's on a different level here. Someone's just sitting on the toilet reading this. They didn't hear your song. They're not crying. They're not emotionally moved. They just see a dude weeping. They just see a dude who's posted about making himself cry through his own beautiful lyrics. They're not going to be on the same emotional level here and they're just going to see it as comedy. So yeah, if you're going to post a crying selfie, wait till after you finish crying. You'll be out of the deep emotionalness of the situation and you'll be able to judge more clearly. How tall are you? I make 75 grand a year. I'm 5'10 for those who keep asking. Watched it on a 21 by 9 WQHD screen and a 5.1 surround sound system. I came through my pants on the keyboard. When you think this is a good setup, I don't want to brag about my setup. In fact, I didn't even tell you about my exact specs. But YouTube doesn't support 5.1 surround. I also don't think YouTube supports 21 by 9 content. Or do they? Maybe they do. But what are the chances that video was 21 by 9? 
This idea that handsome guys can't be nice has always annoyed me. As a six foot three muscular guy with light blue eyes and wavy hair that shimmers in the sunlight and has been offered modeling jobs multiple times, I know firsthand that this is just a dumb stereotype. This has to be a joke. The joke I made at the start of this video was less subtle than that. I feel you, bro. It killed me to turn down playing Thor, especially with how much of a downgrade Chris Hemsworth is from me. But those orphans can't take care of themselves, you know? But people People always say I'm just a stupid chad. It hurts, man. Okay, clearly this guy is playing along with the joke, jumping straight into it, seeing what he can rustle up out of this other guy. Maybe through humor, we can expose him to himself. Exactly. Nope. I don't work with orphans, but I used to do volunteer work with retarded kids. Is this a troll trolling a troll? Am I being double trolled? We're gonna pick the safer option here and say this is satire. I need like a graphic for when something is most probably satire and no one realizes. Satire. I think I- oh, I've done this- I've done the graphic! Someone actually made this. Like, why? Ah, uh, I'll tell you why. Satire. Don't mean to brag, but this happens when I don't check Tinder for a week. Ruffle WTF 5269 <laughs> Perks of graduating high school. Look, I've graduated high school. It's nothing like this. <laughs> The waitress at this restaurant told another waitress about how she's gonna have to walk 40 minutes to and from work next week because her cat needed surgery and now she can't afford her $120 a week in gas. Guess what tip I'm slipping her? You got your cat, I got you. If this actually happened, I don't mind. It is certainly a humble brag, but the act of posting about it doesn't equally counteract the act of doing it in my opinion. I think you're still a better person for doing it and posting about it than doing nothing. And even if you're not, you did positively affect someone's life and your tweet doesn't negatively affect anyone. Unless of course this tweet is fake, in which case, what is wrong with you? It's like those videos about people helping homeless people and everyone's just like, just don't do it in a video. In my opinion, if they weren't gonna do it, if it wasn't in a video, then it's better that they did do it and put it in a video. Even if it's just to inflate their own ego, they were helping someone else in the process. So <laughs> like, why not? Please stop congratulating me on 10,000 subscribers. I've hit that milestone over 20 times now. Please stop congratulating me. Thank you, Illy. What's the bet this was Keemstar for how many channels he's had banned? Well, good on you. Listen, you guys, all 10,000 of you, you're not that big a deal. I've done it before and I could do it again without you. So please, save your congratulations. It's annoying. First of all, we have a pitch black Snapchat photo with a paragraph of text. People tell me that when they get into a real conversation or deep thought with me, I'm one of, if not the most intelligent people they know. I'm not trying to boast, it's just fascinating. <laughs> I love this. I think a lot of this behavior can be excused if the people are young. Because like I said in my Nice Guys videos, young people are just trying to work things out and they like noticing how amazing they are in certain aspects. And it's excusable because you don't just socially, you just don't know what's going on. <laughs> if this guy's like 14, it's funny, but I would withhold from using it as a judgment of character, or at least a judgment of future character. I mean, hey, listen, if someone had exports of my MSN conversations back when I was like 12, I wouldn't need to touch Reddit for months to find cringy content. It's just, it's, it's just how young people are. It's when it's the older people, late teens plus, that's when it starts getting Hey, how is everything? Everything is good. I've been asked out by five different cute guys on top of the hockey player already, lol. So six. I'm going out with two different guys tonight. I'm trying to figure out the timing, <sighs> lol. That sounds fun. So annoying, all these guys throwing themselves at me <sighs> on top of that hockey player. Elizabeth, any boy, quietly hums off key. Me, with nine years of jazz, opera, and musical theater training, thinking back on all the lounge gigs and opportunities I've taken in big cities as a vocalist. Can someone please sign this beautiful man? He deserves the world. I don't get it. He hums off key. You're so super experienced, but, but you want someone to sign him. What? Elizabeth, you make no sense, Elizabeth. I dropped 160 kilos on my shin when I was deadlifting and this is the only thing that happened. Cheers, Jesus. Whoa, we have a shiny humble brag. The elusive double brag. 160 kilos, good thing it didn't land on your fresh pair of Yeezys. Does that still count as a shin? That's almost like a knee. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow.